welcome back guys as promised the review or oh no welcome back guys as promised the impression video of infamous 2 but first first recently there has been someone i am watching his uh, youtube videos and he kind of thinks that he is the real godfather he thinks he is the real don he dresses like a freaking don he looks like a don and he even sits like a don and he talks like he is the real godfather like it, like he is a better don than i am so for this video only for this freaking time i will do my incredible hair and i will do this so that he knows that monkey ass knows that i am the real don i am the real godfather of gaming and he thinks he is the don he thinks he's the godfather and you know who you are but i i am the godfather so you know and if you guys don't know who he is just check his link below and definitely subscribe to him because he's definitely an awesome youtuber and he's a countryman so that's also always awesome um yes now to the infamous two first impression video first i want to say is that this impression video was, will actually be really short because i don't have a lot to say first up the story now is about the beast what has been in infamous 2 someone is coming to destroy the world he is called the beast and actually the first couple of minutes you're uh, you're in the empire city and cole is trying to defeat him and he thinks he actually defeated him but no he is stronger than cole and he actually wins but when i first saw the beast in all the trailers i was like whoa this is a gigantic monster but when i saw the beast to my opinion i was like is that it i mean it's just a bigger version of beep if you played in famous 2 you know what i'm talking about i was a little bit disappointed about the beast but uh it doesn't matter but um uh, cool actually retreated to new marais a new city miles and miles away from the, the empire city or new empire whatever and um the, with the companions of zeke yes he's still back but the, the friendship is a little bit broken but zeke is trying his best to make it up to him and calls like you know whatever he's doing stuff for me so that's awesome maybe it will be better at the end of the game but i don't know and also with a new guy the new woman actually is an asian i don't know if he's korean chinese japanese i don't know she, she, her name is ko or kuo whatever and now at the part of the game where you rescue ko from the you know what if you play the game and um yeah my first impressions are definitely looks better plays better you have all the powers you had in infamous 2 right at the start of the beginning and now you have you get uh, extra powers even more powers because the thing is Cole wants to go to New, Me New Marais to find um, Dr. Wolf because he is experimenting, he, is build he has built the Sphere Ray and he, he said that he can make Cole even stronger than the, the beast so that he finally can destroy the beast and if he fails the entire world will be destroyed. Um, things happen in the game of course and the, the, the whole problem is the whole catch to the game is uh, Cole is trying to get stronger stronger and every time like an eight hour expires because of a cutscene of course or something happens you see eight hours and you see like uh, 11 miles for the beast is coming that's pretty cool you think you have a time limit but there is actually not a time limit because you can do like in famous 2 you can do a lot of side missions pretty pretty much plays the same as in famous 1 did you remember Wynet Chronicles 2 first impression that Wynet Chronicles 1 and 2 were a direct sequel you know direct sequel but a, a little bit of a bad one because you're playing the same environments over and over again it is infamous 2 is a direct sequel to infamous 1 but a good sequel just like Uncharted it has the same characters the same gameplay the same powers but better powers bigger powers more powers but a different look cool looks a little bit older it looks a little bit different a little bit different um i think it's actually a little bit slimmer you know a little bit uh was like a little bit fatty not not fatty i mean a little slimmer you know a little bit smaller and um, the city looks different the new city not actually looks different but to me it definitely looks 
a little, sometimes it, it reminds me of Empire City, but there are also a lot of districts that are totally different than anything you've seen in Empire City. So it's definitely a fresh, fresh beginning. It is a new game, a direct sequel, new environments, better powers. Um, 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 how do you say it? A little bit different music, but not that much. Just like uh, in Famous 2, sometimes there is music, sometimes there's not. But the music that is in the game is pretty cool. And uh, you know, it's pretty much, I cannot say a lot about this game because it's pretty much infamous one, but bigger, better, uh, better looking, better playing, more powers, and a totally new storyline, but a direct sequel to the storyline of infamous one. And uh, yeah, that's a new destination, a new city, that's definitely it. Uh, I am now, um, because I've done the rescue mission, I'm now going to activate the second part of the city like infamous one with a generator you have to power up the generator and uh, new powers goes up and you can go to a different part of the city this time around there is one militia in the city that has control over all the entire city and the militia is saying that they're trying to do that to uh, defend the city of new Maurice from the beast and from all the mutants that run around because I don't, I don't remember for Infamous 1 there are a lot of mutants like just running around on the streets. But with Infamous 2 not only do you have militia but now you only have mutants or monsters or beasts roaming around. It kind of, one beast kind of reminds me of Dead Space. You know that little beast with his two claws like what what what. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space. Doesn't matter though but uh, in the storyline they haven't told yet why there are a lot of mutants in the city and maybe they will even won't tell it that will be a little bit disappointing because i have no freaking clue why the hell there will be some kind of monster and beast there's also a monster can like dig on the ground and stuff but okay uh apart from that and um, that's definitely what i want to say guys it's the only thing i could say in famous 2 is definitely a better game it's better looking, better playing, like I said, it's a new destination, a new city, it is a direct sequel, so the storyline goes on. Also, the voice acting for Cole McGrath is a different, but I kind of like it. I, I, to be honest, I kind of like the Cole McGrath from Infamous 2 better than Infamous 1. Don't know why, I just like him better. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's definitely it, guys. I hope you liked this video. Uh, this is actually my day off or off from, from vacation. Now I have two weeks, two weeks of vacation. I do have to say honestly that there is a pretty big package coming on. And finally I will get a new PSP system and a lot of other new games. One uh, pretty rare game for the PlayStation 2. I was freaking happy when I saw that game. I was freaking happy when I saw that game. Uh, but I will talk that uh, later on next week when I do my games of about recently or games about this month video. And I'll definitely try to upload more videos these two weeks. So I hope you enjoyed this little impression video. Uh, the guy who knows who he is, don't think you are the Don. I am the real Don. I am the real Godfather. So just take it off. You know, do take this off. Do dress something else. But don't dress like a dawn, don't speak like a dawn, don't sit like a dawn, because I am the true dawn. And uh, <laughs> definitely see you next time. And, and, and do not forget to subscribe to that dude. Link below, because he's still awesome.